Before plastic, most wiring was insulated with woven cloth. And before the 1960s, asbestos fibers were often woven into the cloth to be used for electrical insulation. If you've ever worked on the electrical system of an older home, or any electrical components that are older, you may have seen cloth wiring. And if you do, you'll want to take precautions with some protective equipment because that cloth might contain asbestos. I'm asbestos attorney Justinian Lane, and this is Asbestos Artifacts, where we take a look at some old asbestos products and dig a little bit into the story behind them. Today's asbestos artifact is a segment of asbestos insulated electrical wire. We've got it right here, and we have it vacuum sealed so we don't breathe in any of the asbestos fibers. This is uh, white insulation that is asbestos insulation. It can be very dangerous to breathe stuff like this in. That's why we have this sealed so we keep safe. As we've often discussed on asbestos artifacts, asbestos is a series of minerals that resist heat, flame, electricity, acid, and corrosion. Unlike nearly every other rock known on Earth, asbestos is also fibrous, so it can be woven into cloth, like the insulation on that wire. Asbestos cloth retains all of its amazing strength and resistant properties. For example, it's fireproof, and for thousands of years, humans have woven asbestos into fabric to resist fire. In addition to resisting heat, asbestos does not conduct electricity, neither does asbestos fabric. So for decades, industries of all kinds, especially construction, used asbestos fabric and fibers to insulate electrical wiring and other electrical components. Like most electrical insulation, asbestos insulation protects against electrical discharge, withstands the heat generated by electrical flow. This will protect the conductor's surrounding materials from being damaged or catching fire. So asbestos is more durable than other fabric insulation like cotton. So asbestos insulation was especially appealing to electricians because it also protects the wiring from chemicals and moisture and helps prevent corona discharge. Now corona discharge is sort of a mini version of lightning where conducted electricity charges the atmosphere around Around it. Asbestos keeps the charge from leaking out and damaging things around it. Now there's a number of different types of asbestos, but the most commonly used type of asbestos was chrysotile, which is often called white asbestos due to its color. You could see that this wiring was white. Now how can you tell if a wire is insulated with asbestos? The braided cloth insulation will probably be white and may look fuzzy or furry. You'll want to be extra cautious around asbestos insulated wire because asbestos is a known carcinogen, meaning it causes cancer. Now the dangers are caused by the fibrous nature of asbestos. That's because asbestos is composed of tiny fibers. They're microscopic and invisible to the naked eye. Now these little fibers can easily flake off and become airborne, and then they're easily inhaled or swallowed. That's why we vacuum sealed this wire. Now asbestos has no taste or smell or immediate reaction to your body, so you might not even know you're breathing or swallowing the fibers. In fact, as many as one in five people with an asbestos-related illness didn't work with asbestos themselves, but just lived with somebody who did. The asbestos workers often brought asbestos home with them on their clothing. That's because asbestos fibers are like tiny little hairs that stick to everything. Now, asbestos fibers are durable and as sharp as needles. So when they're inhaled or swallowed, the fibers embed themselves in the throat or lungs or other tissue. Asbestos fibers never dissolve, and the American Lung Association says that some fibers will never leave the body. Now, damage will develop very slowly over time, and people sometimes only discover symptoms of their asbestos-related illnesses up to 40 or 50 years after they've been exposed. Now, there's no known safe level of exposure to asbestos, so always use caution if you're working with something that could be asbestos. A lot of older houses have asbestos-insulated wiring, and asbestos is not yet completely banned in the United States. Anyone who's worked with or near the electrical wiring or components in older buildings may have been exposed to asbestos. The people most at risk include electricians, of course, but anyone remodeling an older home should take caution and use proper protective equipment. So that's especially true if you're planning on updating your light fixtures or older existing wiring insulation, or if you plan on opening or moving drywall, plaster, or older ceiling tiles, all of which have been manufactured with asbestos in the past. And remember to keep an eye out for fuzzy or furry, often white fibers amid the braided insulation around the electrical wiring. That's asbestos, and it's what you want to watch out for. I'm Justinian Lane, and this has been Asbestos Artifacts. See you next time. Mm -hmm.